this is Dr. Dennis Long, Sports and Regenerative Medicine Therapy. I treat a lot of spines, I have for years. Spines are very difficult. They're not like a knee. A knee is more simplistically a hinge. You have a left one and a right one, so it's a lot simpler. But a spine, as you can see, is multi-segmental. There are seven cervical vertebrae, 12 thoracic, five lumbar, and at each level you have a hydraulic joint and a disc, two facet joints in the back, which are hinge joints. So just in the back, there are actually 21 joints. That's a lot of moving parts. And then when you develop arthritis, <clears throat> you can have arthritis of many different segments. So I like to say that this is more like a rusty Swiss watch. So that's why it's not as simplistic as saying, I'm just going to put uh, stem cells or use regenerative therapy and I'm going to magically fix everything because it's much more complicated than that. There's many more moving parts. And that's why in the United States, back surgery is only about 50% successful. Put in other words, if you flip that around, that's a 50% failure rate, which is very bad. Russian roulette is one out of six. So that's like putting two more bullets in the chamber. So that's an extremely, uh, <clears throat> not a very good favorable odds. So we try to fix people with conservative measures, but not all people with backs are candidates for regenerative therapy just due to the complexity of this multi-segmental uh, spine. And so it takes an expert in understanding spines, uh, what is wrong with the patient, whether they had prior surgeries. It's a very complicated issue. And that's why uh, an expert such as myself needs to really get involved and understand everything that's going on.